Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and brought to you by official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon, paperback, and ebook. She's back by popular man. She's got some good vibes. She's a singer, songwriter, born and raised in the Philippines. She began her career at a very young age and born throughout Asia after graduating from college at 22. She played in Japan, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and Guam. She's a multi-war winner with numerous appearances in radio, TV, and print. And plus, uh, she's got over um, 10,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and uh, 4,500 uh, uh, subscribers on YouTube. And um, she had the good vibes. And uh, she also did I'll Be Home for Christmas, The Love You um, the Love You Give, and also I Want to Feel Your Body. She had an album we talked about uh, last time. It was Here's Where We Meet. And Here's Where We Meet Again. This time, she's got a rendition of a classic song back in 1978. We'll find out what it is, why it's all popular in the charts. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studio somewhere in the United States, the uh, lady who's got good vibes, singer, songwriter, born and raised in the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, by popular man, the multi-talented Heidi Tan. Heidi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. It's nice to see you again, and hi to all your listeners and viewers. I am so glad to be back on your show. Wow, What's... it's been like a year and a half, probably. Really? A year and yeah. a half? Oh, my God. It's so. like, you know, boy, it, it felt like it's been <laughs> recent since I talked to you. So, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> boy, sometimes I lose track of time. And, of course, you've been a singer, songwriter, born and raised in the Philippines. You began a career at a young age, performed throughout Asia after graduating from college of 22. You pretty much uh, played in Japan, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia and Guam, you're a multi-war winner with numerous appearances, radio, TV, and print, and you're getting stronger by the minute. You have uh, over 10,000 monthly listens on Spotify and 4,000 4, subscribers on uh, YouTube. And of course, you got a new release, which is done by a player back in 1978. We'll talk about that. You also had some music out there with good vibes and more. And before getting all that, hey, with your uh, update, uh, very quickly, tell us how you got started. A quick recap. How I got started in music? Uh, yeah, just a very quick recap. How you got started? I, well, I started my interest in music at the early age of five because my aunt and, and everybody was playing piano and there were like teacher coming in. And, and I grew up in a very musical family because my mom sings and my dad um, knows music. And my uncle is one of the famous piano player in the Philippines. So I grew up listening to a music of Ella Fitzgerald and a Sarah Vaughn, Natalie Cole, Barbara Streisand, Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, anything under the sun, Beatles, so pop, R&B, Earth, Wind, and Fire, so Patty Austin, so name it. And, you know, and the Philippines are very musical. We're actually um, um, Asia, I mean, Southeast Asia. Philippines is one of the most uh, musical um, country in Southeast Asia. Mm. And and certainly as well, too. And we may think Ricky Martin and Menudo, you know, they kind of just put it on the map right there as well. So <laughs> they, they went to the Philippines, actually. When Ricky Martin, I heard that when he was young, he was part of Menudo and they performed in the Philippines. I, I heard that. So and now Ricky Martin's a famous um, artist. So, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. And, of course, a lot have uh, come out of the genre as well, too. And, of course, um, you also won some awards as well, too. And uh, you also have 10,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and um, 4,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. You keep climbing. And you also have some music out with good vibes. I'll be home for Christmas. The love you give. I want to feel your body. And plus the album we talked about last time. Um, here is wh where we meet. And um, how, how's that album doing these days? What's the latest on that? Yeah, well, here is where, where we meet is still getting played on rotation yeah, i released that 2019 but it's still getting played i mean i'm i'm pretty much seeing it on people sharing on spotify on stations on rotation pretty much on smooth jazz r&b and soul um uh, radio stations everywhere so i mean i would just see it on twitter like somebody would station would just tweet me like playing uh, this song of when love is on the line the love is real you give me everything from the first album and missing you is one of the most favorite uh, sing a uh, song that was actually uh, from that album and still plays until now everywhere mm -hmm. still everywhere mm -hmm. and a hop of some of the music that you got as well too and i can't recall if you have some other music out there the ones we did not mention and if you do feel free to talk about those yeah so after that after um i think after uh here is where we meet is i think i released the love you give 
And then I want to feel your body, good vibes. So I did the Christmas song. I did, um, I mean, I'll be home for Christmas. My favorite things, which is Bobby uh, G- Gomez Arrange 2021. So, and then and, and I did remix of Good Vibes. So, and the Love You Give remix. And my YouTube subscribers, it's actually almost 11,000 now. 11,000? Oh my goodness. I think better yeah, change the, the number right time. now. And I think yeah. we're going to be up to 12,000 by the time we get done here. So <laughs> <laughs> really, I hope so. But yeah, but it's kind of growing because I believe when stations are playing it and you're very active on social media and promoting yourself, I get promoted by promoters. But I'm also a very um, 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 hardcore promoter myself. I like to promote and I'm very actually um, diligent on promoting myself and keeping my brand that's what it takes. I mean, people are asking me, why are you, uh, because you always have to be visible because that's social media is about branding and getting the right, you know, um, branding and uh, uh, posting. So people, you are always engaged and then you promote your songs on Spotify, YouTube, and you also have good relationship with your promoter. And I believe a good relationship with stations and DJs. That's what it takes. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, uh, these days that uh, you got some, um, you know, copycats, wannabes, one hit wonders and everything <laughs> else like that. It, it's like, you know, it gets pretty competitive, too. And um, and, and for those who, um, y- you know, who are just kind of feeling down a little bit, uh, they can continue. What's the best advice you can give to anybody out there in order to keep going with your music, your brand or just about, you know, e- even a podcast or a TV show and everything? What's the best advice you can give to anybody, you know, just to uh to, to stay stay on course i think being able to uh be out there is being just like what you do you have to be current you have to research what's going on what is the actual market the music and also you you have to also also start um uh, to think about trending because when i released baby come back it was actually i was was not thinking about releasing it but i realized people like to uh listen to old classic piece and this is what happened with my new release and actually a lot of researching and studying market and social media. It's all about learning things and just, just uh, you know, just be able to always be um, up to date with everything, just with life and with health and wellness and everything corporate. Even in music, you have to be able to know how to collaborate and research what type of music. You have to be very savvy, tech savvy as well. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, what are some of the keys to being uh, tech savvy out there for those who are trying to get up the pace? Yeah, you got to learn. I mean, it helps that you're tech savvy because some of the artists, oh, I'm not good in in, in, in technology, but you got to be because if you don't have a social media um, uh, person who's going to take care of yourself, I mean, you have to do it yourself unless you can afford to hire someone and pay someone every month. That's going to that's going to cost you a lot of money. And if you, even if you have, if you, if you can learn it yourself and you can actually save a lot of money by doing it, some of the things yourself instead of hiring everybody. Mm-hmm. And that's certainly key as well too. And of course, more about um, the song baby come back by player. What first inspired you to uh, do the remake? I know, you know, the, the story about baby come back is it's supposed to be just a party song because I've always loved that song. I always hum it when I'm driving and I, I told Bobby, my friend, a ranger from the Philippines, I told him, why don't we just, just do a demo for parties? It's supposed to be for parties to sing. And then when he came out with the song and he was telling me, why don't you release this song? This song is great. Yeah, maybe I'll release it. So we did that 2021 and it just sat there on my file. And then 2022, he was like nagging me, Heidi, come on, let's do it. <laughs> let's release it. Oh, what do you think? And then I met Nils last year and and I and I I thought to myself, why don't I just actually ask Nils to uh, um, collaborate with me? Nils is one of the smooth jazz uh, billboard guitar player and he's, he's very successful in what he does in and I'm a fan of him. And I told him, do you want to do this song, Nils? And let me listen to it, Heidi, if I like it. You know, I'm not sure. Give me a couple of days. And and then when he listened to it, after a few days, said, oh, my God, Heidi, I love this song. I would love to be part of it. And I got excited. Mm. And, yeah, and then I just kind of, oh, this is going good. And then I, I got to um, get um, connect with Pete Tokar. 
Pito Carp, a mix that I want to feel your body in 2021. And he's one of the best. He has worked with um with the big artists. He's a Grammy producer. And and I asked Pete, can you mix this song? And then Bobby, and then Pete, and then Neil. So it's a recipe for a good song, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what happened. And we just decided to release it this year. And I had to re-record the vocals three times because I wasn't happy. So, and then when I started to hear the demo and everything, I started to, uh, to, um, to see, uh, to get excited about it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds very exciting as well, too. And of course, um, we'll, we'll be playing that in just one minute. Um, maybe come back originally done by a player from Honey Tan. We'll play that in one minute. First, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Casti, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for it goes missing by Mia Molson Z available on Amazon. Also check out the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show.com or 40 podcast platforms for 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Also, you can subscribe to The Mike Wagner Show on YouTube, BitChute, and Rumble. Follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. Make sure you take us with you on any mobile device. For great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out The Mike Wagner Show podcast, T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, tote bags, and more. Amazon.com. Check out The Mike Wagner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, plus T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Also, you can also uh, subscribe to the Mike Widener Show and make sure you uh, give a nice donation to the MikeWidenerShow.com as well as PayPal. And also, you can do it on um, Anchor FM and the MikeWidenerShow.com. We're here with the amazing uh, multi-talented singer, songwriter, born and raised in the Philippines, Heidi Tan, the Mike Widener Show. Right now, here's the latest from the award-winning Heidi Tan with Baby Come Black, originally done by a player. Here's Heidi Tan with Baby Come Back, right here on the Mike Widener Show. Three, two, one. Great song, Heidi Tan, with that classic by player from 1978. Baby, come back here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, you've done this so well. And, of course, you know, I mean, there's just rave reviews all about that song. It's great. Mm -hmm. I know. I was I was actually very uh, humbled and grateful, and I didn't see this coming. I mean, I was just trying to uh, release this song, and, and suddenly I got uh, good responses from uh, stations. And... And this is the first time stations are actually directly messaging me every like 10, 30 minutes when I first read <laughs> it. <laughs> and some of them are from UK. Like I get messages like one o'clock, two o'clock. I'm literally like 24 hours, you know, getting messages like, oh, this song is exciting. So, and everybody's raving about it. Wow. This is a huge one. So yeah. And then I just, I'm just didn't see this coming, but I'm very, very excited that the responses were incredible incredibly amazing so very very thankful for all the support of uh, the listeners and the and the DJs and the stations actually because they're the one responsible for airing the the music for playing it anyway so it's mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all them it and, certainly is indeed and a great response and um any other plans to uh, release any um retro music or uh, any new plans to release new singles or a new album coming up Heidi might release another single but i might do a remix of baby come back if i can't do a remix maybe i will release another song but i have a lot of songs on my catalog but i might do another cover remix song but i can't tell you yet because we're still working on it and it's gonna be a surprise who knows we're gonna be i'm gonna be back here again to announce it to you 
So yeah, I'm pretty excited because I'm working with this uh, big, uh, you know, producers and we're really trying to make this a really a tight song to make sure that we're going to tie it with whatever's the success of Baby Come Back. We're going to actually match it or make it better this time. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. And, and of course, one thing I could think of is that song by uh, Sir, Sir Mixlock, B Baby Got Back or something. So, <laughs> <laughs> Right. I know. And Nils is very, very happy about what happened. I mean, you know, um, I, I've been talking to him and it's been playing on a satellite radio for the first time. So I'm very excited about it. And, you know, and it's charting in, I have like 17 charts, radio charts. Wow. I think I sent it to you. So, and I get like 30 something um, views on YouTube. And so far for Spotify, almost 40,000 streams right now. Wow. For, yeah. So, I mean, it's incredibly, um, you know, amazing. And of course, shows like you, I mean, helps us um, be seen on public and be heard. I'm very, very grateful to you, Mike. And, you know, we've known each other for a while now and we're still together. We're still talking. Oh. And great to have you on as well, too. We would like to have you on more often. And um, you also had some breaking news as well, too, that um, you, you sent me something on Messenger and you got big news to report as well on your song, Baby Come Back. Yeah. So my song has actually uh, been on a lot of like 17 radio charts right now. And and I'm getting like it might it might um, it might you uh, release a vinyl version of this song. Nice. Okay. UK, UK is trying to order copies of a. Uh, a vinyl copy of Baby Come Back. And it's going to be enough um, orders and I could probably order it and make it and, and ship it to them. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're certainly, we're certainly looking forward to that. And uh, of course you talked about uh, new releases, possible album, you know, a lot album, of things yeah. in the works. And uh, another thing, um, when do we expect you to uh, go on tour and uh, hitting the road or, or live shows? Yeah. But next, next month I'll be a uh, perform performing in Hawaii in Honolulu so it's a it's a gig so yeah I'll be in Hawaii next month and I have plans to uh do a show in Atlanta and I might do a show in San Diego and I might um just go to UK or probably Amsterdam to uh record and do a song and do a song and at the same time perform in Amsterdam that's the plan okay well certainly indeed and uh, keep us up to date in the meantime where can we find uh baby come back and all your music at Heidi it's uh they can actually download it directly from my website if they want to subscribe to my website at ww Heidi Tan at H E I D I T A N N music.com. They can subscribe and I would probably get a raffle and probably give some giveaways for every lucky subscribers every month. So <laughs> that's something like you know, I'm trying to make people engage and you know, so they can go and, and connect with me directly through my social media at Instagram at Heidi Tan Music, Heidi Tan Official and on Twitter. So pretty much you can Google my name and you can just connect with me. <laughs> yeah, if you type Heidi Tan, you'll find me everywhere. <laughs> or certainly will do indeed. And uh looking forward to having you on back as well too. So keep us up to date. We're with um the amazing singer songwriter born and raised in the Philippines with BB Comeback, Heidi Tan, the Mike Widener Show. Heidi, it's great to have you back and uh looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date, keep in touch. And um once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your music? Yeah, they can actually find my music. They can download it on, on Amazon um, US, Amazon UK, but they also directly um, get my song from my website, HeidiTanMusic.com, and I would send them uh, the song so they can actually uh, save it in their playlist instead of just streaming so you can, they can just actually uh, listen to it on their computer or 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 phone or iPad. Okay. Well yes. We'll certainly check that out. Once again, Heidi, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic as always. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love having you back and uh, wish you all the best. And Heidi, it's great chatting with you. And you definitely have a great future have you. Thank you so much for having me and hope to uh, hope to see you soon again. And I'll be announcing you uh, my updates. I'll probably release a, a couple of original and another remake song. <laughs>